this background is fake. Yes, it's fake. President General among the nation, I salute you. Baba, no you are can come. What if I tell you that you can change your video background from this to this? And you don't need iPhone, you don't need camera, you don't need laptop. All you just need is knowledge. But before you start believing me, what if I tell you that this is my original background? Do you know that you can package your video to be more appealing by changing your video background to this? This? And even this? Yes, it's possible. Come closer. Let me teach you step-by-step -step guide on how you can change your video background using CapCut. Remember, you don't need an iPhone. You don't need laptop. You don't need camera. All you need is that your Android phone. And you can do something like this. Share this video to all your contacts. Share it to your followers. Share it to everyone around you. Comment down in the comment section. Then, come back. Let me take you to the other screen and show you step-by-step -step guide on how you can achieve this with your Android phone. Open your CapCut. Click on New Project to import the photo that you want to use for your background. Now, go to Photos. Look out for the photo that you want to use for your background. For me, I'm going to use this photo here. I will select the photo. Then, I will import it on my studio. Now that my photo is on my studio, what I have to do is to touch on the photo. I will expand it. So I will expand this photo to just 14, 14 seconds. For the sake of this tutorial, I will expand it to 14 seconds. All right. Now that I've expanded my photo background to 14 seconds, what I need to do is to check the aspect ratio of my photo. So to check the aspect ratio of your photo, you just have to click on aspect ratio. Now, the reason why you are checking the aspect ratio of this photo is because of the kind of video you want to make. Now, do you want to make a video for Facebook or do you want to make a video for YouTube? Or Instagram each of these platform has their own unique aspect ratio so for Facebook you are going to use 3 by 4 for Facebook aspect ratio all right so originally this my photo background is on Facebook aspect ratio so I'm not going to touch it I'm not going to do anything on it again because it's on Facebook aspect ratio but should in case you are making a video for YouTube use 16 by 9 that is for YouTube. So if you click on YouTube uh, 16 by 9, you expand it to fit in your aspect ratio. All right. So you expand it like this to fit in your aspect ratio. If you are doing for Instagram, you use one by one. One by one is for Instagram. And you can resize your background photo to fit in the aspect ratio. All right. So I'm going to go back to the original aspect ratio of this photo background because it's already on facebook aspect ratio all right so i'm going to resize it back to the original version because it's already on facebook aspect ratio all right so now that i have gotten my aspect ratio i will click ok done all right so the next thing to do is to import my video the video that i want to use for this tutorial so you will import the video that you want to use on your phone all right for whatever you want to create so what do you have to do you will click on overlay click on overlay now add overlay you come to videos and select the video that you want to use so i'm going to select this tutorial video this is the tutorial video that i make for this tutorial so i'm going to select it and add it to my studio okay so i'll add it to my studio now my video is here on my studio what do I need to do here for this video to be on the background? You can see that I'm still having the same background that I have when I'm shooting the video. Okay, so I'm going to resize this again to fit in the aspect ratio of my video, of my background. So I'm going to resize and make sure that it covers my background. So now, it has covered my background. What I have to do is to look for remove background. 
So remove background. I will click on remove background. This is remove background. I'll click on it. So once I click on remove background, you will see on your CapCut auto remover, custom remover, chroma key. So click on auto remover to remove the background. So once you click on auto remover, as you can see, my background is now removed. So if I play this video, you will see that you are now seeing the background of my photo. You are no longer seeing my original background, but you are now seeing the background of my photo. Okay, so let me play it. This background is fake. Yes, it's fake. President General among the nation, I salute you. Baba, no you are can come. So this is where I want this video to end. I have deleted the rest of the video. So I just want 14 seconds of this video. So delete this watermark. Now that I have deleted the video watermark, I will go back. Okay. Now, what I have to do now is to add background. <clears throat> now, if you want to add another background to your video, what you have to do is to come to that place that you want to add the background. Let's say I want to add another background here. So what I will do is to touch on the background. I will split it. So once I split it, I will go back. Click on this plus sign. Hmm? The, go back to your photos and add any of the photo that you want to use. Any of the um, background photo that you want to use. I will add this one here. Okay. So if I play this video again, you will see that it will switch from one background to this another. This background is fake. Yes, it's fake. President General among the nation. I salute you. I can also add another background here. I will split it again. Then click on the plus button. Come back and choose another background and add it. President General among the nation. I salute you. Baba, no you are come. So now you can see that I've been able to change three backgrounds on this video. Okay, so this is one, this is two, this is three. Okay, so but you don't need to change three backgrounds on your video if you don't need it at all. Okay, so you can have one background on your video and it will look nice. Okay, so this is how you can change your video background using your cap cut. Okay, once you are done with your editing, once you are done with everything, so you can go back here and you can export. You can export. So now my internet is not on and the pro version needs internet to export let me also mention that auto removal in CapCut is a pro version so if you are not a pro version user of CapCut, you will not be able to use auto remover all right but i will teach you how you can use pro version of CapCut without paying one naira you will use it for free you don't have to add your payment card you don't have to pay anything you will use pro version of CapCut for free if you want me to do that video Comment on the comment section. Tell me to drop the video and I will drop the video. Okay? If you find this video interesting, if you find it helpful, please share this video. Share it to your family and friends. Share it to your neighbors. Share it to your followers. Let this video go viral. And I will drop another video to show you how you can use CapCut Pro for free. Alright? Don't forget that this is African Book Gist. Where we give you gist that will help you up your game. Owambode. Kamma.